sixth into the first turn out of serious comfort too sexy for the driver and show off the last one away still on the extreme outside is feminine ways feminine way is going to chase the pace front page news has taken a brief lead of half a length 27 and 3 and uh, front page news about to give way feminine ways has overcome the outside post for Dan Dubé and is now on the point up to three it's completion Gussie Herman back to third on the inside to Mango Hall lays in there from fourth Western City is fifth double cam the six one serious comfort then two sexy for the driver and show off in the backfield Western City popped out from fifth for Steve Condren and is driving up first over quickly now the attack is coming on feminine way Half a mile and 57 seconds flat. Feminine ways on the inside and trying to drive right on past his Western City. Western City under an acceleration clears the lead from Feminine Ways. Three eighths of a mile to go and it's double cram. That's out there uncovered. Now into the top trio in the first up slot. Serious comfort right there into it. Second over into the top four. Front page news hemmed up in fifth. Show off sixth on the outside. Stacked up across the track. Gussie Herman to Mango Hall and two sexy for the driver only four lengths front to back and they're four and five wide what a tightly compacted group 125 and four three-quarter time and bursting on past his serious comfort off the cover of double creme into the final eighth of the mile serious comfort has a serious stretch kick to drive away and win her champlain stakes division and roger mayotte has her all wrapped up at the stripe show off for second then gussie herman and double creme Serious comfort was outstanding in 154 and one. She blew him away. Number six, serious comfort back is the sixth race winner at Mohawk. Precious Bunny, two year old Bay Philly from Serious Matter. Owned by Miller Farms of Newmarket, trained by Roy Jeffries, driven to victory by Roger Mayotte. Her first lifetime win is in the Grand Circuit Champlain Stakes, 4th Division. In 154-1 and one for serious comfort. With the winner circle presentation, Jamie Martin, Vice President of Standard Bread Racing for Woodbine and Mohawk. For the Woodbine Entertainment Group, to the connections of serious comfort our Champlain Stakes champion and returning $5 to win as the Ken Middleton Labatt best bet on the program. Based on what she did in her first start at Woodbine, were you perhaps even more confident coming here tonight to Mohawk? Yeah, the way she raced in her opening uh, start uh, got caught near the back out of the 10 hole off a slow half and she paced home real strong, just got beaten. I knew tonight they weren't going to go that slow of a half, so if she was in contention at all, she would, she would be serious. Take us through the race and, and how it shaped up and where you were sitting turning for home. How confident were you then? Well, I ended up moving, I guess it was third over. Steve was first up and once he cleared and then I became second over and I was real confident turning around the last turn. Not many fillies uh, can do what she's done so quickly. Uh, just compare her to some of the others you've driven in the past. She's one of the best two-year-old fillies I've sat behind, behind so far, and uh, Roy's been high on her. He's told me about her, and he's had her ready to race, and uh, I respect his opinion a lot, and he's right on the money. All right, you had that added pressure tonight. You were Ken Middleton's Labatt Best Bet. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Here with winning trainer as well, Roy Jeffries. Um, Roy, just tell us uh, what kind of a filly this has been training down. Oh, she's been really good right from the start. Even last uh, last uh, fall break and her stuff, and the first time we turned her, it's been hard to get George off the bike. It's been his <laughs> drive all winter, uh, and we've been, you know, we've been kind of talking about her in the barn since then. But uh, we're a little late getting started, but it's been worth the wait. What will we see from her from here on in, as far as her schedule? Um, basically, just uh, Ontario Sire Stakes and Trillium, and uh, I think the Canadian Breeders at the end of the year. So. She'll have enough races, and hopefully we'll, if she continues this way, we'll, we should, you know, be heard from. All right, looking forward to seeing more of her. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, Jeffries, conditioner of serious comfort. She wins tonight in the final division of the Champlain. That's going to wrap it up for that.